Hello, and welcome to Grammar 106. My name is Kyle Hildebrandt. I will be your teacher. And the easiest way to reach me outside of class is my email, uh, hildebrandt.17 at osu.edu. Uh, notice this letter here, this H, will be lowercase, not capital. Okay. Uh, you can also reach me at this email, and I recommend using this one at first. This one is not working very well currently. Uh, my other email, my personal email, is kylebhildebrandt at gmail.com. Okay, so next we need to talk about... Excuse me. Oh, yeah, I was going to get to that. It's it's the next on the list. The flipped. Yes, I will. Yes, thank you. I will explain. Okay, so this class will be flipped. Flipped means to turn something over, make it completely different. Okay, so in many classes, uh, during class time, the teacher does a lot of talking and the students take notes, and then they go home and practice those new ideas uh, at home. In this class, it will be completely flipped, completely different. So at home, you will watch lectures, usually YouTube, uh, of me talking about the grammar points of the day. And then when you come to class, we will work on homework, activities, fun games to practice those grammar points. So, that is what a flipped class is. Thank you, Kyle. Okay, next we will talk about materials. Okay, there are three important things that you need for this class. You must have as soon as possible. Uh, number one, understanding English grammar. This is our textbook. We will use it almost every day, and it's very important that you buy it as soon as possible. I suggest from the bookstore in Central Classroom. They have all of our books there ready to go. If they don't, email me, talk to me after class, we'll take care of it. Okay, number two, you need a folder. It does not have to be purple, but you need a folder to keep our activities, tests, all of that paperwork straight, organized, together in one place. Okay, that's number two. Number three, you need a notebook. Okay, uh, we will be uh, using a grammar. Excuse me. What? Oh, yes, well, it, it's next. I was going to get to that. We will back. Okay, so uh, as Kyle said, uh, it's important to know that your syllabus, the written syllabus, uh, is available on a Google Doc page that I will show you as soon as I'm done with this. Kyle will show you uh, how to access that Google document. And I'd like you to watch it again at home just to practice the whole idea of the flipped classroom. So we're doing this in class today. It will be the only time that we will watch the YouTube videos in class. Uh, it's important that you do that at home uh, normally. Okay. And just to practice, uh, make sure your internet connection works and all of that. Please do that at home uh, tonight just to check to make sure it works. Watch this again. Okay. Um, as Kyle was saying, I will show you the Google Docs uh, with our schedule, and it will have links to uh, lots of syllabus and things like that. Um, instead of handouts and a lot of paper, we will use Google Docs as often as we can to reduce our paper use. Okay, uh, what was I talking about? I was saying that you need a notebook. Okay, this is for your grammar journal. Okay. Um, We'll talk more about that in grading, but your grammar journal uh, will be a place for you to 
to just freely write about your experience learning grammar. So, for example, as you listen to this syllabus, digital video syllabus, I'd like you to be at home, you know, you can have popcorn, a snack, a drink, but do have a paper with you, a pen, and take a, write a few questions as you listen. And you can bring those questions to class, and that will help to start our class discussion, help our class activities, make our time good and useful. Um, so that's number one thing we'll use your notebooks, your grammar, grammar journals for. Uh, number two, at the end of every video, I will ask you to do maybe five to ten example sentences uh, about your life, um, maybe what's happening uh, with your experience here in the, in the United States, um, any, anything that's about you, basically, so to, to connect to uh, yeah, to connect your experience uh, with the grammar that you're learning. Okay? Um, and so the third use of the grammar journal will be to reflect. So at the end of learning a grammar point, write about what's clear to you, what you've learned, and just think about your experience learning the actual, the actual grammar. Okay, uh, moving on. Rules. I have five very simple rules in this class. Number one, might need a little help. Yeah, five easy to remember, very simple rules. Number one, we are a family, okay? So I expect everyone to respect each other um, inside this classroom, inside these four walls. We are safe. Any mistakes are okay. Um, encourage each other, help each other, okay, just like a family. Number two, try first. If you're confused, if you're not sure, try. Just write a sentence, write a few words, just try first. If you do that, it is much easier for me to understand how I can help you if you've shown me something where you've tried. Uh, number three, speak English. So we have many different languages in the classroom. That's good. That's great. Uh, some of you may speak the same languages, but remember, it's very important to, um, to practice speaking English as much as possible and to get everyone together speaking English as a, as a family, as a community. Okay, rule number four, keep your cell phone in your backpack, not in your pocket, not kind of under your book, not, no, just keep it in your backpack. We will use your cell phones for class activities sometimes. When we do that, that's fine, bring them out, but usually keep them away. We're focused on learning when we're in class. Okay, rule number five, have fun. Easy as that. Okay, uh, let's move on. Let's finish up with talking about grading. Uh, grading is pretty simple. Uh, you will have MGAs, which are worth 80% of your grade, big part of your grade. Uh, there will only be four MGAs, four tests, okay? So each test is worth 20% of your grade. All right, the other 20% is for class, work, and homework. Okay, your grammar journal will be worth 10% and daily participation points worth 10%. What are daily participation points? So with a flipped class, it's very, very important. Your homework is basically in class, act, uh, participating, being active, okay? Uh, if you're not doing that, if you're texting, if you're sleeping, if you're not trying, um, you know, if you're absent frequently, that's going to lower your daily uh, if you have any questions about that, please write them down and we can talk about it tomorrow. Okay. That is about all I have today. Uh, it's very important, um, you know, if you have questions, please, please ask me. Okay, so that's all. Um, again, write down your questions now that you might have uh, based on this digital video syllabus. 
and the syllabus on Google Docs, which I will show you like we showed Kyle. Please go ahead.